Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the msvcp140.dll file is missing error you're getting on your Windows computer. So this should be a fairly quick and straightforward tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. And you want to type in folder options. Best match should say file explorer options. If you're running an older version of Windows, it might just say folder options. You want to open that up and now you want to left click on the view tab at the top and underneath where it says hidden files and folders you want to left click on where it says show hidden files slash folders and drives. Select that and then click on apply and OK. Once you've done that you want to open up a web browser here. It doesn't matter which one and you want to navigate over to google.com. Now into Google you want to type in msvcp 140.dll and then type download and then you want to hit enter to search now you want to select the domain that has the dll slash files in it. it should be very close to the top you want to get it directly from this page so it should say free download you want to select that and again you can always confirm by looking up in the url up here and you want to scroll down until you get to available versions right here so you want to select the most up-to-date version that's compatible with your version of Windows. So most people are going to be running a 64-bit version of Windows, so you're going to select that respective version. However, if you are running a 32-bit, you want to select 32-bit download. Now, there's going to be a junction in this video that we're going to have to make a decision on what we're going to do. It's going to depend on if we're doing a 32 or 64-bit download, but I will show both in this tutorial but I'm going to show the visual walkthrough with the 64-bit download because a vast majority of you guys are going to be running a 64-bit version of Windows. So I'm going to select the orange download hyperlink on the side here. It should say your download is going to begin. And if you click on the correct links and everything, you should end up with a zip file. So I'm going to show it in my downloads folder and I'm going to show in the folder. I'm going to just left click on the folder and drag it over to my desktop while holding down my left mouse pointer and close out of any web browsers that's no longer needed and I'm going to open up the compressed file or compressed folder I should say and the compressed file that's inside should say msvcp140.dll you want to left click to hold it down and drag it over to the desktop so now you can see we have the DLL file on our desktop clearly visible and you can delete this compressed folder this time so I'm just going to click on delete on my keyboard so now that we have our DLL file on our desktop, we're going to open up the start menu and you want to type in this PC. On Windows 7 devices, just type in computer and you want to select the best match. So devices and drivers, you want to select wherever Windows is installed on. Most people should be the local disk. In my case, it's the C drive. The drive letter doesn't really mean too much, but there should be an icon of Windows right above the hard disk, as you can see right here. And you want to double click to open up that drive and now you want to open up the Windows folder so double click on Windows and now depending if you're using a 64-bit version of Windows or 32-bit it's going to make a difference here so if you are using a 64-bit version of the operating system you want to drag this file over into the system32 folder and when you're hovering over system32 it should say move to system32 and you'll need to provide a ministry of permission to move this folder click continue now if you're using a 32-bit version of the operating system you're going to look for a folder that says syswow64 so again SYSWOW64 and you would just drag and drop that file into there instead and that's pretty much it guys there's not too much more to this video but I would recommend if you want to change your folder view options back to what they were before you're more than welcome to do that I'd recommend doing that before you even restart your computer and you just go up to the view tab at the top Go underneath options and then again underneath view you can set it to don't show hidden files, folders, or drives. Click apply and OK. At this point you can restart your computer, try and rerun the application you were experiencing this issue with, and hopefully your problem has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next video. Goodbye.